So just a quick showing of a space for lift. So this is your traditional space for lift up here in the top, which then pushes the whole strut assembly down, which then when this strut assembly goes up, it bottoms out prematurely here in the shock housing because it's been pushed down. It bottoms out here and it does not bottom out on the bump stop. You can see there's no dirt mark here on the bump stop at all because it's bottoming out internally on the strut here and it's never hitting the bump stop. And what is causing it to happen is, you can see down here, it's actually, it's actually cracking the shock here on the weld on the top and the bottom of it. And what has happened is you can actually see the shaft right here is actually got a bend to it. So it's just a matter of time actually when this compresses enough times that it's going to do is it's going to cause us to snap right off at the bottom here because it is no longer using the bump stop to bottom itself out it's bottoming out in the shock housing itself so this is this is what happens from your traditional spacer lift it limits the travel it pushes the strut assembly down and it loses the upward travel and doesn't bottom out like it's designed to so we just wanted to show you that real quick just so you can see they either snap off right down here or they snap off right here and it actually pushes the shaft up inside here um, we call this the fuse because where it's welded here is brittle and it's not as strong and they usually break off right here or right here so just a quick thing on the uh, shock assemblies here on what not to do